Another type of um, exercise they may ask you to do involving linear equations, and this is, let's make that a two. Find the slope, but in this case, they give you an equation instead of two points. So what do you do? Well, let's put the equation down. We have 4x plus y equals to 7. All right, you're supposed to find the slope. Now realizing that this is the general format of a linear equation, and the number in front of the x is equal to the slope, but before you can pull that out of there, you want to make sure that you write the equation you were given in this exact format with y on the left side and everything else on the, on the right side. Okay? So we have y on the left side already, but the 4x is down on the right side. We want to move that across over here, so it ends up being y equals minus 4x plus 7. Now we check, and yes, it looks exactly the same as over here. So this here is the slope m, and this is the intercept b the y-intercept. So in this case, you can just read it right off. Say, OK, m equals negative 4, and you're done. What if you get an equation like this? 2x minus 7y equals 3. Okay, let's put a line there so we don't get those two confused. Again, to find the slope, what you want to do is put the equation you were given in this exact format, meaning you want the y on the left side and everything else on the right side. So let's move the 2x over here. Now we have minus 7y equals minus 2x plus 3. Remember, when you move anything across the equal sign, you must change the sign. Now you say, OK, I'm done. There's my slope. Oh, not so fast, because it doesn't exactly look like what you have over here. It has to be y equals mx plus b, not negative 7y. Ah, that means we want to divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient of y, so divide the left side by minus 7, and divide each term on the right side by a minus 7. Remember, whatever you do to the left side of the equation, you must do exactly the same on the right side. The negative 7s cancel out, so now you end up with y equals negative 2 divided by negative 7 is 2 sevenths x, because the negatives cancel out, and a positive 3 divided by negative 7 is a minus 3 over 7. And now you're done. Because remember, the number in front of the x, the coefficient, that's equal to the slope. This number here is the y-intercept. So here, m equals 2 over 7. Okay, one more example. So what if we have x plus 2y equals 5? All right, again, you're asked to get, find the slope. The slope is the numerical number in front of x, but you can't pick the number yet because it's not yet in this form that you want. y equals mx plus b. Again, all the y's should be on the left side, everything else on the right side, so let's move our x over here. So we have 2y equals, and instead of writing this 5 minus x, because you could, I would like to write the x first because I want to have this exact format, so I'll write it as minus x plus 5. Remember, when we cross the x, over the equal sign, we must change the sign from positive to negative. Okay, you're not ready yet because the number in front of the y is not a 1, like y equals mx plus b. That means you want to divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient in front of the y. Now the 2's cancel out, and you end up with y equals negative 1 half x plus 5 over 2. The number in front of the x, that's the slope. The number here by itself is the y-intercept, so m equals minus one-half is the slope of this equation right here.